Alright everybody, here here we are back with another new world between the streams. Technically this is going to be during the streams because we've been streaming this all week. Make sure that you stop out to my Twitch channel. Link should be down in the panels down there or the description. Wherever this happens to be posted. But... I wanted to showcase a few things that we managed to get done and show off the character as it stands. This is the armor we ended up with. I'm going for a medium build. Um, and we've made it to level 20. Now this is after, oh jeez, an 18 hour stream or something like that. 15 hour stream. I, my brain died by the end of the end of the day. We gave out a bunch of codes and had a really great time. Hopefully, we'll catch you there next time. Um, for anybody that's curious, we did join Syndicate. But let's go ahead and launch the game. I'll show you a little bit of what happened here. And then we're going to do a little bit of a uh, different type of video this for the beta. Because we're going to show off a little bit of uh, yeah, a little time lapse, I guess. But let's get into it. We're back in the game. Look how beautiful this game looks. Love it. As you can see, we have our good friend Jayfish hanging out over there. Um, and yeah, let's take a look at the character as it stands. So far, you can see here in purple all the points that I've allocated. And you can see buffs, equipment, all that good stuff. Oh, I've committed the 19 points in the yellow, not the purple. My mistake. And then, uh, yeah. So, currently, I am doing Rapier and Musket. That's going to be my final build, I think, for during the beta. I will test to see if these weapons change. This is as far as we've gotten with our Mastery Points. Done pretty good with Trade Skill. Now, a lot of these Trade Skills, we've been completing just through quests and helping out the main city now some things I've learned so far about the leveling system is that it feels like town projects are one of the fastest ways to level because some of the some of the quests that they have you doing are run out get X amount of wood and then return it to the bulletin board and you get like over a grand in XP and you can do this multiple times it's not always wood mind you sometimes it's fiber and if you get into the game Make sure you're constantly gathering hemp because you can just walk up to the board at any time, hand those in, and make some awesome leveling progress. But uh, that's pretty much all for now. Uh, let's see how far we get in the next couple of streams, and we'll do a little bit more of a showcase. So that way you know what to expect within a certain amount of hours, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, everybody. And here's how we look now at level 24 right and here we are in game in case anybody is curious this is my current setup I'm using the musket and the rapier currently um, we've also got a full set of tier 2 gathering tools and all that um, now this section is being recorded after another seven hours of streaming so we've made a bit of progress as you can see down here we're halfway through 24 about to be 25 and if we go into our character sheet you can see where our attributes lie now we've got one pip into each of these which is really nice uh, in case you're curious this is how much it would cost me to respec um, as well as 
here is our weapon mastery. Still haven't done anything with the mage staves or the two-handed weapons. Really not interested in those. I will end up leveling them eventually. And also, over here, you can see that we've also been leveling a bunch of other stuff. Um, now, the furnishing I still haven't touched because I don't own a home yet. And once again, back in our inventory, you can see I am poor currently. Although, we do have plenty of repair parts, and I've been capping out my Azoth rather easily. So, it's not that difficult to get. Um, and you pretty much get it doing anything and everything in this game, so that's pretty cool. At the moment, we're currently doing all kinds of different quests, and at the one thing I learned, like last time, is that, well, you get to uh, do your first instance dungeon at 25, so that's what we're working up to. However, because it's at 25, it's also part of the main story, and I can't access it just yet, so... Here's how the map lies right now. We've got two syndicate, which I am in, and then one for each of the other two factions. So my server is pretty diverse. I like it. Anyway, let's see what happens next time. Okay, and here's how we look at the start of day three. I'll tell you what, it feels like a lot longer than three days considering how long I've been doing a lot of streaming. And man really really enjoying myself the expeditions are a lot of fun but they're very difficult if you don't have the proper group or you don't have the proper gear or decent weapons or proper stats so make sure you do your research before you enter the, uh, the next one if you uh if you get through around 25 you get to do that um but here is my in-game name and my server. I am also part of Syndicate. Here's my group flag. So if you're ever on my server, feel free to look me up. And uh, maybe sometime in the future we'll get our own group going. But let's move on to the next day, shall we? Alright, everybody. As you can see, we're at the start of day four. Now, a few things have changed. I've actually been running a lot of expeditions, and I've realized that uh, healer is a pretty essential role. Helps you get through the dungeon really fast at any rate. Now, I got tired of trying to find healers in order to accompany us into these, so I've switched. Let's see how this goes, shall we? And here we are, back in the game. Freaking awesome. Been loving every minute of it. As you can see, we're 34 down there at the bottom left corner. And uh, let's take a look at some of this gear, shall we? We got a lot of new equipment. But probably one of my favorite things right now. Look at that. Freaking awesome. The new bags are just great. We're almost at 500 pounds being able to carry right now. There's some really good rings and whatnot going on. And we're still using Ice Staff and the Healing Staff. Uh, ice Gauntlet, rather. Uh, but And it's going really well. Really enjoying all that. Uh, we got all of our steel tools, of course. But, if we take a look at the map here, as you can see, my server is getting overrun with purple here. Although, it looks like some of the other regions have gotten taken over recently. Um, my group, as a matter of fact, over here, is about to get its uh, stuff stomped in because of all this. Just look at it. Tier 3 invasion going to be happening here real soon. Just not great. Uh, Stray Dogs is in trouble, I think. But, we're going to do our best to fight all that back. Here's uh, all of our information here. We're about to do the rank mission in order to go up to Tier 3 in Syndicate, which is really cool. We are currently in Monarch's Bluff. If we pop over here to the Attributes... 
very nice on the focus. Been doing a lot of healing for these expeditions and really enjoying it. Here's where our mastery stands. Last time, I think I didn't have uh, anything into healing or anything into fire. Very little into the ice, still pretty, pretty low on that. But as you can see here, I'm looking forward to seeing what they add next. Because they got plenty of space here. Maybe we'll see something new show up whenever the... Uh, whenever the uh, game goes into full launch. But uh, we do have a ton of new skills. Still haven't done any furnishing. Been holding off on doing the house stuff. I've been working on getting these uh, bags crafted up. And uh, yeah, so we've got a ton of achievements taken care of as well. And for those that are curious, here's what the cash shop looks like. So it looks like you use these shell looking things to go ahead and upgrade everything like there's dyes there's emotes there's skins uh, for weapons and armor there's housing items that are cosmetic only and then you can buy these crests for your company if you're interested in doing anything like that but it's uh, you know it's all cosmetic stuff nothing too major and then I wanted to go over a few things we've learned throughout all this experience. It's been quite a run so far. Like, between all the different uh, expeditions that we've gone through and the healing requirements, some of those expeditions have hidden chests. Um, we've also managed to get some learning as far as where resources are and all that but uh, some important stuff to note is that the bulletin board is an amazing way to level if you haven't already make sure that you're using that to get to your maximum uh, right now though they actually lowered the rate at which you could take quests from the bulletin board it's still a really good way to level um, but I guess some companies were taking advantage of the system and using it to get the max level like in day one and they weren't thrilled with that system so it got nerfed a bit now that's neither here nor there either way we're getting closer to our goals here and I believe by the end of the beta we'll be pretty high up there but uh, really, I just want to do some more of the higher to end content, see what it's like, and uh, have some fun. But uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. It's going to be a little bit shorter, and uh, we're going to do some more stuff. Like the next, uh, I'm going to be recording a video for our next run into some of these newer excavations. I'm really hoping that you'll all stop by and check those out. Been having a lot of fun. And don't forget that during the beta we will be streaming over the weekends. And hopefully I will see you there. And uh, do be sure to check down in the panels if you made it all the way through the video. There are giveaways down there as always. And hopefully I will see you again soon. Take care of yourself. Take care of your loved ones. And stay healthy. Bye, everybody.